Hi, we are Chatmosphere and David. And I'm Anke. And we're very happy that we are invited to talk about our little project. Um, Chatmosphere is a video chat program and it was created during the first lockdown in Germany when in early 2020 we were not allowed to meet our friends anymore and we tried a lot of digital video chat tools to meet and we realized that Zoom and Jitsi and Teams, Google Hangouts, they all have this logic of work tools where one person can talk at a time. If multiple people are talking, then sound is changed so that you can hear one person better. More introverted people don't feel as comfortable in joining a conversation or they started not to come anymore. And we wanted to create this dynamic as if we would sit on a real table where you can talk to one person, but you can also talk to someone else or you can just listen or maybe just have a side conversation. So with this idea, we applied to the Prototype Fund, which is a German tech fund supporting open source civic tech. And um, in this round, we had the opportunity to try if we could find actually a better paradigm. So I wanted to share a way how we were working. We did a design sprint very quickly. So we tried to figure out what we want to do before even write one single line of code. And this is something that we can really recommend because you learn a lot from just putting your stuff in front of a real user. Um, because we had this idea that we want to have 3D sound that would be somewhere in space. And so I can hear that somebody might be here next to me and it could change all the time. When we tested, we only had a mono output signal because we just had one box to test with. You can see it in the picture behind the screen. But the interesting thing was it worked. People just realized that changing the loudness or the, the volume based on proximity made the effect as if you would move to, through this room. So we realized very quickly that it could work easier. And um, from there on, we started creating it. Yeah. Um. How, it, how it's built um, is it's uh, based on Jitsi. Jitsi is an open source video chat app. Um, I th assume most of you uh, know it. If not, definitely check it out. It's awesome. Um, yeah, so Chatmosphere is open source, of course. Uh, it's a React app that is utilizing Zustand as a state management tool as a replacement for uh, Redux. Also a quick shout out to them. It's uh, also awesome. You should, you should check it out. Um, like Anke said, um, what we're doing is we calculate the distance of the users and by this uh, we uh, vary the volume. This is something that we that, uh, that we came up with and, and we send out, uh, out the user's position via um, messaging. Everything else is basically ut uh, utilizing core Jitsi functionality that we adjusted to our needs. Um, currently, there are many cool ideas and a couple of forks out there what to do with this, uh, with this setup as a base. Um, but to collaborate with you and everyone else who's interested, we uh, urgently need unit testing. Since I'm not uh, fluent with writing unit tests, especially architecture-wise, also mocking of WebRTC is something that I'm looking into, but um, um, I would be very happy to have someone experienced to talk to about it. So um, maybe one thing to mention, um, just as a side note, we also built PlayWave. It's a load testing tool we made to, uh, to test our architecture, to test Chatmosphere. Um, but it, it can also used, uh, can be used to do uh, integration testing and um, it's using Playwright, um, which is a headless browsing uh, browser automation tool, something like Puppeteer. Um, so you can also use it to test all other setups of WebRTC for example, Jitsi. Um, so you can you can try it to, to load test your Jitsi install um, and it's much leaner than Selenium is. Yeah, so also try that. Uh, try Chatmosphere, install it, adjust it to your needs and please get in touch if you want to help out with unit testing. We would be very happy. Thanks very much for your attention. Have a great conference. Yes, bye. Bye. <laughs>